Hello there kids, it is uh, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Skyrim. Alright, when we left off, we had just made up the armor that we now have, as well as gotten the Agma Infinium from the little Dwemer, it's Dwemer, right? Yeah, Dwemer lockbox from Hermaeus Mora, kind of gifted it to us. Alright, now when we left off, I'd also planned on joining the Civil War, in a way, for Skyrim. So I figure, why not do it right now? <laughs> we'll do that this episode, and see how far along we can get in that. It'll probably be quite a long while before we're actually done with it. <laughs> but hey... There we go. All right. I think, I think we're going to join the Imperials, but that's just me. I honestly prefer the Imperials myself. So we'd have to go this way to Solitude. There we go. There are those who believe that when night descends upon Skyrim, werewolves descend upon the unwary. Yeah, look at that. Look at those fangs. Look at those chompers. <laughs> they will kill you dead. <laughs> Most of the dogs in Skyrim are domesticated and serve as faithful companions for their Nord masters. That's racist. How dare you bring up dogs when you're talking about werewolves. It's more speciesist than racist, but eh. Eh, it's just me. Spare some gold. I'm not interested, Jari. It uh. doesn't matter how many times you ask. You might huh. missing out on some wonderful opportunities working in that bar. That is a uh that is a thing. Um, where do I go to talk to the, and join them? Stranger, how about no? No, you do not. Do not talk to me, you do not know me. Seems there's no end to the needs of the Imperials. But what can I help you with? You make armor for the Imperials. That's all I have time for these days. Ah. The men training here in solitude. And the troops out in the field. They all need weapons and armor. Okay. But I'm not telling you anything you don't already know. You got a good point. You're pretty dedicated to the Empire, then. Uh, to be honest, no. But High King Torig supported them. And now, her Lady Elisif has thrown in with them. You could say I'm a king's man at heart. I guess that's Yaro's man now. Fair enough. My loyalty lies with solitude. So, where Jarl Elisif leads, I follow. That is a good point. Return anytime you need arms or armor. I never Okay. In that case. Alright. We will head over in this direction. And this seems like a good spot as any to start. Yeah. Everything's just fine and dandy. Yeah, we might as well join the Imperials, because they're the ones trying to keep Skyrim together and a stronger force for when they again fight the Thalmor. It makes more sense, to be honest. Tactically and logically. The Winking Skeever's got warm beds and cold mead. You look like you could use both. That, I don't know whether to be insulted or not. He doesn't have the men. That's not what my scouts report, sir. Every day more join his cause. Riften, Dawnstar, and Winterhold support him. To be able to see solitude over the mountains. That's exactly what I'd imagined. Cool. My general, the man's going to try to take Whiterun. Jarl Balgruf. Balgruf refuses the lead to the what the fuck did you just do? On the other hand, he also refuses did to you, acknowledge you use your, claim. like, vampire well, powers if he there. if to stand outside the protection of the Empire, fine. 
that Ulfric pillage a city. General. You people and your damn Jarls. Sir, you can't force a Nord to accept help he hasn't asked for. If Ulfric's making a move for Whiterun, then we need to be there to stop him. Draft another letter with the usual platitudes, but this time share some of your intelligence regarding Ulfric's plans. Embellish if you have to. We'll let it seem like it's his idea. Yes, sir. You Nords and your bloody sense of honor. Sir. <laughs> I assume he's, uh, actual Imperial, so he has really no idea what their whole tradition is about. So, of course, it sounds like he's a, uh, I read stories dick. about the Solitude Windmill, but I didn't expect it to be that big. Um... Should I make it that's what she said joke? But even though it is that's what she said? Anyway. We will oust Alfred from Windhelm soon enough. And when we do, I'll have his head on a plate. Good point. Are my men now giving free reign to anyone who wanders into the castle? Do you yes. have some reason to be here, citizen? I believe we've already met. Have we? Oh, oh, of course. Yeah. You were at Helgen. One of the prisoners, if I recall correctly. There we are. I was set free. I could have gone anywhere. I came here to fight for the Empire. Hmm, I suppose that's true. Fine. Why don't you have a chat with Legate Ricca? I suspect we might have use for someone resourceful like you. Not many survived, Helgen. Besides, I'm sure your being imprisoned was all a terrible misunderstanding. Oh, just so big a misunderstanding. Just, you don't even know how much of a uh, misunderstanding it was. Hey, Ricka, leg it, leg it. I know you. No, you do not. Don't you talk to me like that. It's good we hold the reach. Were the rebels to gain control, the silver mines would give them coin to hire more thugs and expand their violence. Good you point. survived Helgen? Yes. General Tullius told me That's what happened. Pronounced Helgen. Not many made it out alive. Gim. I've got a good oh, feeling Gim. about you, and I don't often get good feelings about anything. Okay. A warrior knows to trust her gut. All I'm not right. going to go through the normal process with you. I've got a little test lined up. Pass that, and we'll talk about you joining the Legion. A test? I can handle anything you throw at me. Is that confidence or bravado? Confidence I can use. Bravado gets soldiers killed. We'll soon find out. Fair I'm enough. sending you to clear out Fort Haragstad. If you survive, you'll pass. Haragstad. If you die, then I'll have no further use for your corpse. I hope you wouldn't. What's at Fort Haragstad? The ancients built many of the fortresses that dot the landscape of Skyrim. Ah. Sadly, most have fallen into disrepair. And nearly all have been overrun with bandits or other vagabonds. Ah. Fort Haragstad is one of the few that remains mostly intact. We're going to install a garrison there, but first you're going to clean out the bandits that have moved in. Consider that fort already yours. <laughs> Good, that's what I want to hear. Now go make it happen, soldier. I was deciding whether or not to be really cocky motherfucker or not. But then I remembered it's Tyrong, he's a cocky motherfucker. All right, clear out Fort Haragstad. And I think actually it's n not that far away from Solitude. It's like a little ways to, I think that's the east? Or is that the west? Uh, it's probably the west. Yeah, that's the west. I'm just dumb. Wait. I know no, you do not. Get away from me. Get away from me. You know nothing, Jon Snow. <laughs> that's a reference. Uh, that's not over there. It's over... <gasps> I swore I was over here. Okay, that's, uh... To joining a legion. Yeah, it's right there. Normally, it marks off the place that you're going to go to. Where? Anyway, we'll 
go to Wolf Skull Cave. That's a whole other kettle of fish we'll be dealing with later. And then... Do that. <laughs> we'll deal with the fort. most famous hero in Skyrim is Tiber Septum. Yep, we already know this. We hear about him every single day. Every single day. Alright. Oh, let's pick these up. There we go. And we head in this direction. I think that's westwards and then northwards. And there should be a road going in that direction. Uh, yeah, that looks to be one right there. Hit here. What the? How the fuck is our skeever over here? That is really weird. Well, I'm going to hit it with a spell, I think. Where'd you come from? And that one. Teach you. Yeah, I'd say so. I like how Serana basically tells you when combat is over, so you're not just sitting there going around like, what? what? Speaking of what? What? Iron Hammer. Who the fuck died over here? Who the... What the... Dog. Dog. That dog. That dog. What the... Okay, okay, geez. Calm your face. Where'd you come from? Yeah. Why the hell the dog attack? The fuck? Okay, that is really weird. I've never seen that sort of thing happen. Like, ever. Let's just have the dog as our companion for now. As we uh, go to attack that fort. That'll be something, right? That'll be something. They won't know what hit them. I don't think they'd know what hit them even without the dog. To be perfectly honest. Uh, what is here? That is a bandit, I think. And hopefully that hits. Ooh, right in the face. You suck. I missed. Whoops, I took down the dog myself. Okay. Uh, There's my sword. Okay. Okay, let's take on the dog real quick. And down goes the highway, man. There we go. That was good. Man, I had to get myself back into practice for this, because it has been a while. Alright. And... Take this one down. Is it? Alright. Oops, I meant to charge like that, but I missed a little bit. And... How about you just die? Sounds like a better plan. There we go. Take all your shit. Take all of your shit. I'll drink the wine, because fuck you. That's why. There we go. I'm so drunk. Okay. Let's just take all the stuff that's outside for right now. Lockpick and gold. That's actually pretty useful. <laughs> I noticed that was 69. <laughs> Okay, I'm 12. Okay. Is there anything else over here? Uh, it doesn't look like much is going on. Uh, up here. Oh, uh oh. There we go. And up here. Uh, there should be something right here, shouldn't there? Uh, yes, there was. Hunting bow is useless, but the elven arrows I can use. Um, okay. Maybe up here, then. I, I recall there's being something kind of important to do in this direction. What the? <laughs> Ebony arrows. 
Well, that, that's kind of good, I guess. <laughs> Alright. And I assume the rest of them are inside. Or, yeah, I, I assume they're inside. So, we'll go through the front gates, I assume. Jail! Or, wait, is this a jail? Yeah, this is the prison. Yeah, we might as well go through this first. Just get this out of the way. Excuse me, I'm gonna get a drink. Ah, energy drinks, oh shit. Come on now. Oh, that didn't work. Ah. Uh, Serana, I think your uh, spells are starting to fail. I, I think you're a little drunk. <laughs> Dearest. <laughs> Sweetie. The fuck am I doing? Okay, then. Uh, let's do reanimate corpse on this. Hopefully, it'll let me do that. There we go. It is. Good. Okay. And I think we'll do the Ebony Greatsword for this. Oh, yeah. I'm right here for you, buddy. And down you go. There we go. And down you go. Bitch, motherfucker. There we go. <laughs> and there's a couple things here. Yep, gold ring and some gold. Up. Oh. That sliced. Uh, I want the whole wheels, and they don't give me the whole wheels anymore. Alright. In that case. Uh... Calm your tits. Jesus. Undo the calamity that is in your memories. Jesus. Alright. Let us go over here. There we go. Alright. I'm going to take a drink of this every loading screen because I need the energy at this point. <laughs> I've been slowly dying at work and I'm having my last shift of the whole week. So, yeah, I need it, trust me. Alrighty. Now, ain't this a Whoa! Surprise. What the hell are you doing over here, motherfucker? Oh, that didn't work out. Bandit Marauder. Could I possibly use Reanimate Corpse on you? Oh. Oops, god damn it. Nope. Too powerful for Reanimate Corpse. Uh oh. God damn it. That didn't work out. And now I'm being attacked. Shit. Oh, that did a little more damage. There we go. There we go. I think I hit the uh, bandit chief again. Thank God for that. I don't think Serana would have been happy. Uh, I'll take that, because fuck it, why not? I'm getting really overladen with stuff again. I'm really bad at keeping my uh, carry weight down. Because there's so much stuff I want to take. So much stuff I want to sell and all that good stuff. I have the same problem in other RPGs. So much stuff I want. And not enough room to carry it around. There we go. Take all this. I keep burping, I'm sorry. And there shouldn't be much over here. Yeah, there is not much over here. The gold ribbon of merit. Hey! That's good. Let's see what's in the chest. Not a lot. I mean, something, but it's not a lot. And I think that is about as good as it gets around this part. So, yeah. Calm your tits, bandit. Jesus Christ. Shut the hell up. Alright. We will get out of here. And we will head back to Solitude, I think. But I'm pretty sure we'll do that in the next episode. 
Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. Take a look at my Patreon down below in the description. Decide whether or not you want to support me in making more videos for you guys. Or not, it's completely up to you. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only, Stray Cat. Playing games for you.